Another big sentencing today, too, that we've been following. This is 33-year-old man who will spend the next 12 years behind bars. William Pettipiece killed Buckley Air Force Base Airman Michael Snyder in a hit and run crash. Snyder was on his motorcycle when Pettipiece ran into him uh, from behind and then he took off. Jennifer Kovaleski is live in downtown Denver. And Jennifer, a full house for the sentencing today. Eric, the courtroom was packed here today as we heard from Pettipiece for the first time. He apologized to the family and appeared to show remorse for his crime. This was a senseless act that should have never happened. Michael should. Snyder's father telling a judge his son have didn't have to die. Easily. The senior airman's family laying him to rest at just 23 years old. It could have been avoided way too easily. A drunk driver, 33-year-old Michael Pettipiece, hit and killed Snyder at the intersection of East Alameda Avenue and South Monaco Parkway on April 10th. Pettipiece took off only to be tracked down by Good Samaritans who called police. I definitely feel for his family as I do for the Snyder family. Pettipiece apologized to the family and Snyder's fellow airmen who were there as he was sentenced to 12 years behind bars. Well, I'm really happy that the family was happy with that. Um, I, I feel that it was appropriate as well. Now I checked and Pettipiece does not have a criminal record. In court today, the judge calling both people involved good men. Reporting live in Denver tonight, Jennifer Kovaleski, 7 News.